everybody, it's story time with Mama and Coco where we just make up a story as we go. So let's see where it goes. Yes. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a goat and he knew how to float. His name was Boat. <laughs> goat the boat that knew how to float loved to be in the water. So he would go swimming every single day. And when he would swim along the way, he would meet different fish and creatures in the water. And he'd say, hey, good day. How's everybody doing? And they'll be like, hey, Boat the Goat, we're doing great. So one day he was out for his daily swim and he noticed something in the far distance of the water. And he was thinking, what is that? So he decided to go a little closer and explore. And as he got closer, it was a smell so strong, he didn't know what it was, but he kept going closer and closer and then he stopped. And when he stopped, he looked down and down below was a bloated seal. <laughs> and the seal said, help me, I just don't feel well. I don't feel well and I don't know what to do. <laughs> So Boat, the goat, said, I got you, Mr. Seal. Come here, take my hand. Do they have hands? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So then he grabbed him and he pulled him above and then he started to rub his belly. And he said, right here, I feel where the pain is coming from and where you're sick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it open. And Mr. Seal said, whoa, are you a doctor? And Boat the Goat said, no, but I seen it on YouTube. And he said, um, how about we go for something a little different? So Boat the Goat said, I think that's a good idea too. So he started rubbing his belly and tickling it. Because he said that that helps make the belly pain go away. Mm -hmm. So as he did that, of course, the seal laughed like all ticklish people and mammals do. And... He started just to feel things kind of moving around a little bit. And, you know, the pain went from like here to there to there to here. And he just kept tickling him and he felt like it was working. And then one time he tickled him so much to the point that he fought it. And that's how he felt relief. <laughs> and when he fought, he felt good. And he said, oh my goodness, both the goat, you healed me. How'd you do that? Both the ghosts said, hey, we have other things to worry about. Do you see down there? There's something sticking out, and I was trying to get there before you stopped me, so now you have to come with me. So Miss Seal said, I'm not going with you. He said, oh, Miss Bo said, oh, yes, you are. I stopped my day to fix you, so you're coming with me. So the Seal said, okay. So then they start inching back and inching closer and closer to what they saw. And as they got closer, they were getting scared, but they found a giant iceberg. <laughs> and when they saw the iceberg, both the goats said, oh, no, 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 this is not going to get in the way, too. We got to knock this thing down. He said, Mr. Seal, sit on it with your warm body and melt it down some. And the Cecile said, that's going to take forever. He said, just try. So he did that, and before he knew it, the iceberg started melting, and they were able to get past it. So they kept going closer and closer to what they saw in the water, and Mr. Cecile said, stop! And Mr. Goat, I mean, Boat the Goat said, what, what is it? He said, if we keep going we might get into some trouble. And the ghost said, well, what do you mean by trouble? He was like, well, I've heard some, some tales about this area because he noticed the temperature of the water started changing, the daylight started changing in the area. And he said, you know, I've heard some bad things about this and they could just not be true, but I don't know if I really want to find out. And both the ghost says, Psh. You know, you got to see for yourself. You can't judge off of what other people say. So let's see for ourselves. And if it feels like it's too dangerous once we get there, we just hurry up and leave as soon as we get there. And the seal reluctantly agreed. So they continued on 
and kept going and kept going even though it was getting a little scary and unsure for them they kept going and they finally got there and what they discovered was it was a thing a big thing but the only way to open the thing was to sing so both the goat said we have to sing fa la 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 so both the goat and mrs Steele started singing fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 and it started to open up and before you know it it was a bunch of treasures so many treasures they were bright and then um both the ghosts said oh my goodness we have to get it all and mrs still said oh no 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 wait don't touch it and before you know it both the ghost jumped in it and he got all the treasures and then something came and said get back from my treasures and of course naturally he jumped back because they were both scared they didn't know where the voice came from and both the goat dropped everything and the seal got ready to start running. And the boat, both the ghosts said, wait, don't leave me, don't leave me. And they said, the voice said, if you try and take my treasures, you will be doomed forever and ever and ever. And then both the ghosts said, um, excuse me, Mr. Voice. I'm sorry if we've upset you. We just came to find out what this is. And, you know, we, we, we didn't mean to upset you, so please don't hurt us. And then the voice start to tell them why they didn't want them to take the treasures. And he said, these treasures were given to me by my great, 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 And they've been taken down the line. And if you take our treasures, you're going to ruin our family. And both the girls said, I'm sorry, but you think I could just get one? And he said, no, get back. He said, are you stingy? But he got back and both the goat and Mrs. Seal. Mrs. Seal was over there trembling like this. <laughs> and going crazy. He said, Boat, let's just go. Boat, let's go. It's not worth it. Boat, let's go. And Boat said, just let me get one. He said, Boat, Boat, it's not worth it. Let's go. And then the voice said, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the voice said, thank you. So Mr. Seal for respecting everything he said, what he said about his family and everything. And so both the girls said, okay, I get it. I really, really want the treasure because we swam, swam really, really far to get here. But okay, so he reluctantly agreed and the treasure chest closed again. And they bid farewell to the voice and started going on their journey together back the other way. They had they became friends and decided to go on more journeys together. And that was it. While they were walking away, Mrs. Seal farted again and said, excuse me, but that was all. And not to mention, the voice gave Mr. Seal a little bit of treasure just for um, not trying to take it when he said not to. Oh. And both the goat got nothing. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to our story. Um, tell us what a different ending if you would have chosen one. And make sure to try to switch your family and friends. See you later. Bye. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no.